Hello everyone, this is Boricua Binks and welcome back to Let's Play Ace Attorney Investigations Miles Edgeworth Prosecutor's Path. That's a long title. So I might just say Ace Attorney Investigations 2 for the next episodes. I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, uh, in last episode we started this Let's Play and we, uh, we joined Edgeworth in beginning a new investigation into what looked like a almost presidential assassination. I'm going to say almost only because we don't know if he's dead or not. So let's continue on. In turnabout target. Now then, let's continue the investigation. Hmm? Hey, Mr. Prosecutor! If you find anything new, could you could you please let me know? I've been wondering for a while now, but who exactly is that woman? I thought she was just a nosy onlooker, but it looks like she's investigating too. Ha, uh, investigations too. Uh, get it? No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hey! Please, I'm begging you! <sighs> In order to figure out how many shots were fired, we'll need to talk to a witness. Unfortunately, it can't be helped. Let's try talking to her. Ah, Mr. Prosecutor! The name's Nicole Swift. Just between you and me, this case is going to be my exclusive scoop. Exclusive? Miss Swift, is it? Could you tell me what happened during the- Okay. Rude. <laughs> so, how's your investigation coming along? Y'all got a suspect yet? Where'd you get that frilly doohickey around your neck? Hold it. Hold it. Could you please stop talking for a moment? I will be the one asking the questions. What is this, an interrogation? I reckon I was gonna get myself an interview. I'd like to know how many gunshots were fired. Can you please tell me what you saw? Well, I guess. I ain't telling you nothing, girl. You better tell me something. What's with all of the branding on your jacket? What? My life depends on info. I ain't giving it up that easily. Don't be selfish, pal. Won't you please cooperate with us? Selfish? If you ain't got n if you ain't gonna share no info with me, then I'ma go get it from elsewhere. Grr. <laughs> That's what her face looks like. Wait a minute, pal. If I wait, are you gonna give me what I want? If not, adios amigos. That's with the Spanish. <laughs> she won't budge. We're at a stalemate here. A stalemate? I wonder about that. What do you mean, sir? You gonna torture her or something? No, not exactly. <laughs> Although for some people it might be like torture. As you know, chess is one of my hobbies. How does one go on the offensive against a defensive opponent? There are many tactics available on the chessboard. Really? I don't know much about chess. I prefer checkers. Well, I actually never played checkers in my whole entire life, so I don't know how to play that. <laughs> Um, all I know is that the the pieces are red and black, but I don't know anything else. I do know chess. I'm not, like, super good at it. I'm not that strategic, but I, I know what the pieces are and how they move. I do think chess is really cool. I just wish I was good at it. <laughs> Even if it appears to be a flawless defense, there is always an opening. Observe, as I break down her defense with my words. New game mechanic, y'all. 
In order to get her to talk, I'll need to use the right strategy. Using the image of a chess game, I need to stay one step ahead of my opponent. Uh, okay. Now, this is going to be the part that I'm completely blind to in that I've never played this game. So, I don't know how this is going to go. Kind of, kind of nervous. <laughs> Now then, let's analyze the situation, alright? Until you give me some info, my trap sealed shut. Okay. She has her guard up. So this is her defensive strategy. What an imagination you have, Edgeworth. <laughs> if I waste too much time, she may grow impatient. I need to pay attention to the time limit. Ooh, okay, that's scary. I must not be careless with my words. When my opponent becomes agitated or aggressive... I told you I ain't talking! You're stubborn as a mule! For example, during times like this, I should calmly wait and see how things play out. The moment my opponent shows an opening, I'll be able to strike. First, I should ask about her identity. Now, let us begin! All right, here we go. Logic chess, begin. Your occupation. First, could you tell me your occupation? No way. If I told you, then you might get the wrong idea. The wrong idea? In other words, it's a job that you cannot tell others about. I, I never said that. I ain't some kind of suspicious person. Okay, she's getting a little agitated. Wait and see. And sometimes you can tell because um, the blue option was like, oh, you look suspicious to me, but that's accusatory and it's a pointless statement, so why are you going to pick that? I'm just your run-of-the-mill model citizen. Please excuse my rudeness, I did not mean to offend you. I may not know the details of your job, but I'm sure that it is a reputable one. Eh, uh, well... You might be giving me too much credit there. I ain't even done any major articles yet. There's our hint. An article writing job? Heh. <laughs> I heard you mention articles just now. Does your job involve writing articles by any chance? Ah! <laughs> D dang damn it! <laughs> you stuck my battleship! Oh, wrong game. <laughs> Th that's right. I'm an investigative reporter. A bona fide up and coming news journalist. Now, nah, I'm gonna apologize. I'm sure her voice is completely all over the place today. That's what happens when you're recording several days apart. <laughs> I don't remember what voice I gave her in the first episode. Oh, I see. A reporter. She may already have some information about the case. This will be my next line of questioning. Alright, and we recover time as well, which is really good. This is where the real battle begins. I'll need to draw out even more information from her. Okay, content of your coverage. You said that you are a reporter. Did you come here to gather news material? If you want to know that bad, give me some info first. No, you first. Show me what you've gathered. Honest to Betsy, I don't know what you're talking about. Hmm. I don't have enough clues to proceed with this line of questioning. Okay. Maybe I should try another line of attack. So we jump to this one. Were you present at the time the incident occurred? Hey, Mr. Prosecutor, how about some of that info you promised me? No, ladies first. I insist. <laughs> I told you my trap's sealed shut. You ain't getting my info that easily. Okay, wait and see. I'm not gonna threaten to arrest her. This is my livelihood here. Please, I'm begging you. If you stick your head in too deep, you may be putting yourself in danger. I I'm a pro after all. A few gunshots? Don't scare me. Aha, uh -huh. you and your big mouth. You heard gunshots. 
<laughs> I'll admit you're dedicated to your job. However, you still have much to learn. The fact that you heard the gunshots clearly means that you were present during the incident. You must have seen something. Ah, we damaged her. Busted again. I just happened to be here covering the speech and that's when it all went south. That's all, I swear. I ain't saying another word. So she was here to write an article about the speech. She should still have the material she gathered for her article. Hmm, this could be a useful clue. Okay, back to the beginning. You said that you are a reporter. Did you come here to gather news material? If you want to know that bad, give me some info first. No, you fuck. Show me what you've gathered. Okay, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> we know. Let me try using that clue. You must still have the materials. Ah, we have a knight now. Are you telling me that you came here to gather the material and you left empty-handed? You should still have the materials you collected with you. Aha! That's, uh... Dime tootin'! I'm a pro! I collect info with my own two feet! That's why I ain't giving it up without a fight! As the prosecutor in charge of this case, I am making a serious plea for your cooperation. Don't you mess with me! I ain't handing it over and that's final! Uh, I am just messing with you now. Please understand where I'm coming from, Mr. Prosecutor. Being a reporter is a tough job, isn't it? Ah, uh, so you're finally getting it. How has your job performance been? Um, well, I'm always trying to be the best reporter I can be. This here tape recorder, I always carry it by my side. Oh, let me listen to the tape. We got her. I see. If you're trying to be the best reporter that you can be, then it would be unnatural for you to not have collected any news materials. You recorded it on your tape recorder, didn't you? The information regarding this case. Oh, doggone it! Oh, bear trap got her. There goes my exclusive scoop. That's right. I have it on my tape recorder. All the information I've recorded for my articles right here. Hmm. Checkmate. <laughs> You're so cool, Edward. You're so cool. He thinks he's like really cool and everybody standing around is like, oh, he's so lame. <laughs> no, Edward's awesome. Logic chest complete! Alright, that's cool. See, logic really is his superpower. That's amazing, Mr. Prosecutor. Before I knew it, you done had me chattering like a chipmunk. Let me hear what you have on the tape recorder. If I listen to the tape, I should be able to determine the exact number of gunshots. Fine, but... I won't let you have it for free. Other than my mentor, you're the only person to push me this far. In other words, you're gonna be my second mentor. Yep, that's how it's gonna be. Oh my. I see. It's kind of like a second home, sir. And I got one more request. A 24-hour exclusive interview. Please, Mr. Prosecutor, this is my first and final request as your apprentice. Ah, <sighs> this is difficult to accept. But unless I agree to it, I won't be able to listen to the tape. 24 hours is out of the question, but I will grant you an interview after we solve this case. W what about being my second mentor? Also out of the question. Aw, don't be so ornery. Well, I guess you take what you get. It's all for the sake of my new scoop. Oh, she looks so sad. Time to get the ball rolling. 
Let's begin our exclusive coverage. Well then, Miss Swift, please begin the playback with the tape recorder for me. Okay. My dear friends, there is a reason for my visit. A few days ago, a smuggling ring that has long plagued my nation was exposed and crushed. I see. This was the president's speech. Okay. Or fast forwarding, I think. The president passionately addresses the crowd. He's def oh, this is her talking. He's deflating the rumors flying round about a recent decline in his approval ratings. This is my own commentary. I tried to create the feeling of actually being there. Hmm. According to the schedule, there's a meeting after this? Oh, this is not her. You seem quite pleased that the Yadagorasu incident has been resolved. Well, of course, it's a great honor for us as well. Whose voice is this? Those are from the folks standing in front of me. I reckon it was two older men. They kept on whispering to each other. Where have I heard this voice before? Oh, the gunshot's coming up. The president raises his fist in the air. The atmosphere is boiling to a fever pitch. However, the battle is still not over. I declare, here and now, the hammer of justice shall be brought down upon all evil. Okay, two gunshots. What in tarnation? Whoa, 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 whoa! Okay. Two gunshots. It seems that two shots were fired. And what do you reckon? It's quite simple, really. Using the bullet's trajectory, we can deduce its flight path. Two shots were fired. One bullet hit the president. That means the other shot left a hole in the flag and punctured the balloon. Do you understand now? The location of the perpetrator who fired the gun. The bullet that struck both the flag and the balloon was fired from here. Now we kind of have to um, follow the line. Like this way. I'm gonna say it was like around here. Yeah, like around here, I guess. Really. Eh. Trying to get the line. I think around here is fine. By connecting the bullet marks from the flag and the balloon, we learn the bullet's trajectory. It's likely that the bullet was fired from the left side of the audience area. Alright. Just what I expect from Mr. Edgeworth. Detective Gumshoe, I would like to investigate the left side of the audience area. Yes, sir! Wait, you mean we have to move all these people? Yes, there's no time. We could be losing vital evidence for every second we let slip by. We must hurry. Yes, sir! Mentor number two! Hey, mentor number two! Yes, Miss Swift. I assume you are addressing me. Of course, mentor number two! This is my time to shine. I'm an expert at crowd dispersal. Light the torches, release the hounds, and run them down. I appreciate your help, but please do not use those methods. Also, please stop addressing me as your mentor. I never agreed to that position. I hear you. I'll try to keep that in mind, mentor. Er, I mean, Mr. Prosecutor. Ah, <sighs> people.
Okay, we got everybody moved. Mr. Edgeworth, we're ready to begin the investigation, sir. Miss Swift here was all over the crowd helping us round him up, sir. Heh, <laughs> this ain't nothing compared to my first mentor's mild rambling, wrangling squeals. Squeals? What the hell, Binks? <laughs> Ugh, I shouldn't record when I'm so tired. She seems to be used to this sort of things. However, Miss Swift, all that running around seems to have caused your clothes to be covered with mud. I'll take care of the cleaning bill if you'd like. Eh? Oh, you're talking about my parka? Don't you worry your fancy little head about it. It's reversible, so I can just flip it around later and it's good as new. Yeah, but then you have the mud inside. Ooh. That won't do much for mud stains, though. Well, Mr. Edgeworth, let's restart the investigation, sir. The crowd has made a mess of the crime scene. I hope some traces of the criminal are still left behind. Oh. Okay. Well, look who's over here. What you doing here, fool? Okay, so some of the people are standing this way. We got some stuff here. All the other people are all over here. Okay. Well, I think we're gonna leave this episode right here, you guys. I'm tired. I need to go to bed. Oh, Lord. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this, despite um, Nicole's voice is probably all over the place. <laughs> Hopefully next time I'll have more energy and... <clears throat> Of her voice down pat. Okay, so until then, have a nice day. Bye bye.